This is the Thank You Ocean Report. The California King Tides Initiative is asking us to help document the highest seasonal tides, or king tides, that occur along the California coast. It's a citizen science project that can involve you. During the winter, we have winter storms, and so it tends to make those high tides a lot more dramatic. Heidi Nutters is the Coastal Training Coordinator for the San Francisco Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve. And so here on the California coast, we see a lot of flooding during those high tides because they're combined with winter storms. Which brings us to the California King Tides Initiative, which started in 2010. This is an international initiative with the objective to get us talking about the issues of flooding and sea level rise by actually photographing the impacts of these high tides on our coast and infrastructure. So during those high tides of the year, we have people go out across the coast in their favorite areas and take pictures and then share them on Flickr or on Facebook. And they help us to document the way that our shoreline is changing as a result of these extreme storms and sea level rise. And very importantly, the images citizen scientists take are actually being used by researchers to help them visualize the impacts of flooding and sea level rise. So we say, snap the shore, see the future. And what we mean by that is that those high tides today are what we think the shoreline might look like in the future as a result of sea level rise. So there's a number of projects that are looking at mapping sea level rise, and they're using king tide images to help complement those research findings with visual depictions of what our shoreline is going to look like. I think what the images say more than anything is the importance of being prepared for storms and extreme flooding today. On top of helping us to visualize those impacts into the future, it really raises awareness about the fact that we already today have quite a bit of flooding that we experience as a result of extremely high tides and winter storms. And so it helps to make the case for being more prepared for those storms and for our decision makers to do more to protect our infrastructure. All we're being asked to do is safely photograph and document the impacts on our coast and infrastructure from these high tides. I asked Heidi for some tips regarding the kind of pictures she and her colleagues are looking for. We always really like a diversity of pictures. We like to see pictures that show comparison shots of the high tide of the day and the low tide of the day. Pictures of iconic places or places that are important to people. Right now, we're particularly interested in capturing critical infrastructure that's being affected by flooding today. So roads, erosion along the shoreline. But we also want to make sure that people are going places that are safe. And so we want to emphasize that it's important to take pictures that document flooding. But we also want people to be safe and not go places like in the middle of a road that wouldn't be a safe place to take a picture. And your impact will be magnified because of the size of this initiative across the state. It makes flooding and sea level rise personal. Everybody can participate in the conversation about sea level rise and vulnerability to flooding in our communities. And all they need to do in order to participate is to pick up a camera, go out and take a picture. And that picture can have a huge impact on the way that we understand flooding today and how we make the case for protecting our communities in the future. And my thanks to Heidi Nutters. And now our Thank You Ocean Everyday action is to get involved in the California King Tides Initiative. Do it safely, but your photos can help scientists, decision makers, and of course all of us understand the impact of flooding and sea level rise on our state. I'm Jerry Kay.